Hey, this is Dr. Ol from Science Buddies. In this bioengineering project, you'll make your own microfluidic device. Microfluidic devices are used in many different fields, from engineering to biomedicine. To build your microfluidic device, you will need a type of plastic called polystyrene, which shrinks in the presence of heat. First, you will need three similarly sized polystyrene sheets to start your experiment. On the middle sheet, draw your design and cut it out using a hole punch and scissors. Next, trace around your design to more easily align each sheet when they are layered. Then, place the top or bottom sheet onto the middle sheet to trace and punch out each input or output hole. Finally, glue around the channels and the edges of the middle sheets to make sure the polymers cross-link or fuse together during the shrinking process. Preheat your oven to 330 degrees Fahrenheit with the baking tray inside. After taking your initial measurements, place your microfluidic device in the oven for one to three minutes or until it stops moving. How quickly did your microfluidic device shrink? After your device fully cools, you can test if the channels allow fluid through them using diluted dye. You can even use different colors to observe how they mix in the channels. This is an example of only one microfluidic device design, but what about others? Check out our project instructions at the link below to build your own microfluidic device. For more projects like this, visit sciencebuddies.org. Thank you for watching and see you next time.